Boni Kalwale the senator of Kakamega County Ledama Olekina the senator of Narok County Godfrey Otsotsi the senator of Viga County even if Godfrey Otsotsi is in the ODM party is going to stand with the truth and is going to vote no regarding Gashagwa not to go home Recha Julius the senator of West Pokot Hello guys, welcome once again. As you know that tomorrow the case of Rigathi Gashagwa is going to be listened at the Senate level. And on Thursday, the senators are going to vote if Rigathi Gashagwa will be going home off or if Rigathi Gashagwa is going to maintain as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya after conflicts between Rigathi Gashagwa and William Samoei Ruto. They are not in par. They are not together that is just rest assured because this case will not even reach the national assembly if Rigathi Gashagwa and William Samoei Ruto were speaking in the same book or were in the same category this could never however had happened but because this is happening because this uh, i think Rigathi Gashagwa are in good terms with William Samoei Ruto right now these are the name of the senators rest assured sure bet that are going to stand with Rigathi Gashagwa, whether President Uruto like it or not. But the question is that, do you think the number of the senators is going to reach 23, like how the constitution want? For Rigathi Gashagwa to be impeached, he will not be able to reach 23. But for Rigathi Gashagwa to be able to maintain his seat, he just needs 23 senators to vote no and automatically no for him to be able to maintain the seats these are the name of the senators rest assured and officially sure bet they are going to vote no and i'm going to tell you the reason why they are not going to vote they are going to vote no one by one one by one number one is boni kalwale the senator of kakamega county you know very well that Boni Kalwale has been always there for truth. This guy I've just been talking about the truth. You remember the story for back then you remember the story of Kimunya must go. Kimunya must go. The reason why Kimunya this Boni Kalwale was known after Kimunya must go. Kimunya must go. Speaking the truth and Kimunya Alienda after your story Anglo Lizin and Goldberg. Kimunya Alienda Boni Kalwale has been always there championing for truth kusema ukweli na anasimama na ukweli now Boni Kalwale will not impeach Rigathi Gashagwa and is going to vote no by standing with the truth that is true Samson Chelargei I know so many people are shocked to see Samson Chelargei going to vote no do you remember the time that the case of Rigathi Gashagwa was being listened at the National Assembly, Samson Chelargei was there with Rigathi Gashagwa. Samson Chelargei always said that Rigathi Gashagwa should not be impeached in the forefront, the senator of Nandi. This guy is coming with President William Samoei Ruto, same place. Don't be surprised seeing Samson Chelargei voting no not to impeach Rigathi Gashagwa that is just rest assured don't be shocked that is going to happen Samson Cherage if they go up to the voting session to impeach Rigathi Gashagwa on Thursday Samson Cherage is going to vote no the other one is Wakoli David Bufuoli the senator of Bungoma County will vote no automatically no Joe Nyuta the senator of Muranga County going to vote no Karungu Paul Dangwa we just be an, we, have, we have been talking about Karungu Paul Paul honorable Paul has always been there with Rigathi Gashagwa even today Paul was with Rigathi Gashagwa everywhere that Rigathi was going he has been championing that president William Samoei Ruto and Rigathi Gashagwa needs to talk that impeachment will not solve anything in Kenya but it's going to bring chaos this is what Paul Karungu Dangwa has been talking about 
the senator of Kiambu is going to vote automatically no if it reach up to the senate level after judges chas muita i've talked about it keroche tabitha the the senator of nakuru county dan manzo you remember very well that on monday dan manzo yesterday dan manzo said that the reason why president is trying so hard to chase rigadi gashago there is something bad that is going on and rigadi is trying so hard to to just tell the common mwananchi to just tell kenyans that there is something that is in the government that is not good that's the reason why they keep on fighting rigadi they keep on putting down rigadi dan manzo the senator of makweni county is going to vote automatically no methu john muia the senator of nyandarwa county a good friend of Rigathi Gashagwa Okongo Omugeni senior council Eric Okongo Omugeni the senator of Nyamira county going to vote automatically no Murango James the senator of Kirinyaga county Murungi Kaduri the deputy speaker of the Nash of the senate is going to vote automatically no to impeach Rigathi Gashagwa that is the senator of Meru county Agnes Kavindu Agnes Kavindu has been in the far front the senator of Machakos county talking about how the president and the deputy needs to come at par and talk and solve everything that is going on and solve everything that is going on impeachment is not going to help the country to run forward they need to sit down and talk about it this is the senator of machakos county called agnes kavindu mwenda gataya the senator of tarakanithi nderitu john kinywa the senator of laikipia county ledama olekina the senator of naro county godfrey otsotsi the senator of viga county even if godfi ososi is in the odm party is going to stand with the truth and is going to vote no regardi gashagwa not to go home recha julius the senator of west pokot veronica waheti nominated senator wamatinga wahome the senator of nyeri county enok Wambua the senator of Kitui county my question is that do you think Rigathi Gashagwa is going to survive up to the senate level or what is going to happen if Rigathi Gashagwa is impeached and the impeachment motion do you think that is going to take place or is it going to fall that is the question that i would like to leave up to you if the impeachment motion is going to take place or what is going to happen and what is going to happen if rigadi gashagwa is impeached until next time we will say game over